Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today I want to begin discuss discussing preferences for risk, and I thought the best way of doing that would be to do a short little quiz that will allow us to define these terms like risk adversity, risk neutrality, and risk acceptance before we move on to the next video in which we'll actually define uh, expected utility functions which will represent all of these sorts of preferences for risk. So we're going to do this by looking at a couple of different lotteries. Here's lottery one. In this, you win $0 half the time, and you win a $1 million the other half of the time. And lottery two is just you win x number of dollars guaranteed. So this is a degenerate lottery where the outcome is that you win x dollars. Now, my question to you is, for what value x are you indifferent between these two lotteries? So in other words, if I was about to say, here, we're going to play lottery one, or I could just write you a check for some number of dollars, at what dollar value is that check going to be that would make you indifferent between taking that check and playing that first lottery? So if you're watching this on YouTube, what I want you to do is scroll down below this video where the comment section is, go ahead and write whatever that dollar value is and submit your comment. I'm very curious to see what you guys are gonna answer. I suspect I'll see a bunch of a particular type of answer, but who knows, I could be wrong and I'd actually be very interested to see if I am wrong. So go ahead and do that now. And once you have done that, we can go on to see what your answer means about you and your preferences for risk. So let's begin by talking about risk neutrality, which will define the other two things, risk adversity and risk acceptance. So the expected value of lottery one is $500,000, and that's pretty easy to see. The expected value is simply the number of dollars you would expect to earn on average by playing lottery one. So that's 50% times zero dollars, and then 50% times a million dollars, and that's just gonna equal $500,000 total. So if you answered X equals $500,000, you're what we call risk neutral. That just means you wanna maximize your cash. And so if X were anything less than $500,000, you would wanna play the lottery because the lottery gives you a higher amount on average. And of course, if you had any value greater than $500,000, then you would wanna take that one because that's gonna give you more on average than the lottery would. So that's what risk neutrality is. Now, if you answered X is less than $500,000, you're something we call risk averse. That means you value each additional dollar less than the last. So I personally answered here X equals $300,000. The idea here is that having $300,000 is just gonna make me really happy. Having just $300,000 guaranteed will allow me to go buy a nice house and uh, that will take me a lot further in life than getting $0 would. And while getting a million dollars would get me even further, that extra space further that it would get me, you know, I'd be able to buy a nicer house with that. You know, a nicer house is great, but I would rather just be happy with the security of being able to buy some sort of house with my $300,000. So that's sort of why I answered X equals $300,000. I suspect most of you are going to fall into this category. Now, the last one is risk seeking. So if you answered X is greater than $500,000, you're what's called risk seeking or risk loving or risk acceptant. You'll see all of those different words. They mean the same thing here. And that means that you just value each additional dollar more than the last. Now, I suspect absolutely no one accepted or chose this one. This is a little bit strange because this means that you are for some reason enjoying just playing this lottery, which is a little bit weird. And I suspect that you wouldn't do that if I could just offer you $500,000. I suspect anyone who might be thinking about risk seeking or might be thinking about being risk seeking uh, probably just answered risk neutrality instead. So I'm very curious about what your answers were and I'll look through them. I'd be uh, very curious to see if anyone chose uh, a risk seeking answer. And if that's the case, if they could explain why they chose that, I'd be also very interested to hear why. Um, but that takes care of what we're doing in this video. And in the next video, we'll describe some expected utility functions, which allow us to represent all of these uh, risk preferences. So join me then.